Hi, I'm Brett, here with ShySky.com. Today we're going to talk about items or unusual items that you may want to consider in your bot bag, your go bag, or your survival kit, or if you're just out camping. Items that have been very beneficial to myself over the years that I've spent in the bush, and in foreign countries, and in jungles, and in extreme cold weather. And these are items that was brought to me, or to my attention, items that we should actually consider or that a lot of people don't consider in putting in their survival bags um, or their their kits. So I'm going to break it down relatively simple for you and let you consider on which items you think would be best. But these are things that I've used over over time that have been very beneficial to me under extreme conditions. One, oven bags. Oven bags can actually make a very small tight fit in the most go bags or in the small survival kits or emergency kits. One advantage to oven bags is they're large size, they fall into your container category, they're heat resistant. It means you can actually get it relatively close to your fire or flame without it actually becoming combustible or melting. The next item I'm going to move on to, these, every one of these items that I am pointing out to you have multiple uses. I'm just going to mention just a few. And if you have any additional uses that I have not considered or I have not used it, feel free to send us an email and let us know. Number two, everybody understands aluminum foil, but we don't understand the quantity that a person actually needs to take. The aluminum foil has multiple uses. The multiple uses of aluminum foil are simple. One, it's reflective material, which is a benefit in itself for signaling. Um, the other advantage to aluminum foil is you can make any cooking utensil out of aluminum foil that you need. It will also help stabilize or maintain core body temperature if you're in a condition where you need, need that done. The amount of aluminum foil that I actually take with me, the more the merrier. Is but at a minimum, a length to cover yourself from head to toe would be a minimum that I would actually suggest. Moving over here, one thing most people forget that if you're caught off guard and out in a condition that you need to be able to sustain your health and your well-being and your mental mindset, you need vitamins. You need vitamins and you need a form of nourishment. Vitamins are an important factor. I can't stress it enough that when you're out there, your body is going through a lot the first couple days that you're actually out there. Vitamins is a supplement that can actually it can make the difference in your health and well-being. Number three, I think I pretty much covered the uses here. I carry glycerin with me, multiple uses for glycerin. And we'll post the, the actual uses for glycerin. Glycerin in itself is a substance that's used in a lot of materials and it does provide calorie intake and energy and it can also be used to assist us um, in starting fires if we actually need, need it to be done. The other item I carry with me is potassium permanganate and this item actually is also uh, outstanding, has outstanding benefits not only in the medical aspect but also in the fire starting capabilities. And I will bring up an upcoming video um, to show you how I actually do that in the future. I mean, coming up shortly, I'll make sure that you have a very good video on how to use the glycerin and the potassium. Moving along, believe it or not, a very underrated item that a lot of people don't consider. Understand this does not substitute any of your other cutting items that you may have in your bob bag or your go bag or your survival kit. It's just a regular pair of fingernail clippers. One, it works for fine material such as 550 cord, it works on fishing line, but it also has a little file. Files are very handy to take birds off of other cutting utensils, your, anything from your fingernails to fishing hooks. Also with a good set of fingernail clippers, you also have a potential body opener, correction, not body opener, but a bottle opener. Um, and also you have another cutting edge right here. Um, and I make sure that these are actually sharp. So underrated item that has great benefit and is used a lot more than what most people think. And they're extremely a good idea to have. Um, moving along, bungee cord. A bungee cord with a hollow core. Almost like 
a Bowflex cord, but just falls in that category. Multiple uses for this. Every one of these items that I am mentioning, which we will list on the site, will show you and go into detail to the extent of what these items are used for. I was asked by my brother, what items do I carry in a go bag? Um, and unusual items, but the benefit has to be well over five for each item, which every one of these have countless benefits. So regular bungee cord, obviously first and foremost to me is medical purposes. You can use this to actually assist you or to do a tourniquet in fact if you have to. It works very well and you can apply it very rapidly. Also, you can cut it. You can make a slingshot type of device. You can use it to secure your, your shelter material. It also acts as a shock absorber if the wind's blowing your, your material. You can use it to secure gear. It's just, it's just countless. I, I just can't say how wonderful that stuff is. Um, moving along, two other items that are very important or an unusual item in a, in a bob bag. Condoms. Condoms are very important. They're small. They're lightweight. They're, they're capable. They fall into the container category to myself. You can carry over a liter of water with them. We will have an upcoming video on some uses um, in the field for condoms. Good uses. Every item here has not just been bought off the shelf and brought out here to do a video. This is actual stuff that's actually been used by myself and other individuals that I have worked with in the past. And they have multiple uses. Um, this can also assist you in, in some purification methods with water um, as far as keeping things secure from moisture. I mean, it's just countless. Moving on, we have latex gloves. Always carry several latex gloves. I like these for multiple purposes. Outside the medical stuff, there's something you may not want to touch out there in the, in the big world. And I'll tell you what, use latex gloves before you put your hands on it. It may be poisonous and you may not know what it is. It might be just identifying a plant and you're not sure if it's poison ivy, poison oak, or something along that line. You can go ahead and identify it by putting on latex gloves. Also, I use latex gloves a lot of times for my food stuff. I can put pepper, sugar, cinnamon, or spices in the fingertips or sugar. I can tie them off or I can carry water with these, but they have a multiple use. Um, to you in this type of situation and they're lightweight and remember ounces make pounds and pounds make back aches um, right here olive oil it's been around since the dawn of time this can be used to assist you in your burning sustaining a good burn such as a, a candle um, and things of that nature it can also be used as a supplement if you actually need it and I believe the last thing that I got to show you is zip cord. Um, correction, zip ties, not zip cord. Is zip ties are an outstanding item to carry with you. They can fix many of the problems with the gear that you're going to break when you're out in the field or you're out in the bush or you're just out on a camping exercise. They come in multiple sizes. I only brought these sizes with me just to show you. Regular zip ties. You can secure items, fix items, use them in a hurry, and they work very well. So there you have it, folks. These are some unusual items you might find in a bob bag, and hopefully this will assist you in being able to understand what it is that you need to put in your go bag or your bob bag.